the immortal John Hancock here, and today I got an interesting product. My first import from China, and you know, gosh, it's always kind of a hit and miss with these products because it's cool that they offer things that may not get here in the States, but sometimes it's a gamble. I spent 80 bucks on this and waited about three weeks for it to come in the mail, finally came, and uh, it's a Mega Drive clone system that plays in HD. And I'm like, well, you know, a lot of people saw my at games review and uh, a lot of people thought I was too nice on them. Probably right. And so I am going to compare this to that essentially because uh, I want to see if it's better. So let's check it out together. I'm going to do an unboxing and uh, test several games on it. Let's check it out together. So here it is. Mega Drive HD clone from China. And it took me a while to get mine. It uh, got delayed in shipping. And so here it is. Even though it's a clone, I still like collecting clones. And uh, my corner got dinged. Unboxing here. Sorry for the delay. Comes with, uh, yeah, so the packaging, if you care about packaging of your clone consoles, this one will probably come to you a little damaged just because of the cheap packaging. There's a thin bubble wrap around, and you can see, you see there that my box is caved in a little bit. Um, unfortunate. It's got cool looking packaging. But again, it's, uh, it's a clone console, so I have pretty much zero expectations for this. And so, it'd be great if it could work. Here's the back of the box as well. It's pretty simple. So it's called the HD Retro Game, okay? High quality. That could be questioned. But, here we go. Put it up here. And, Got move this pack in here. All right, so unbox this. And inside, inside you have a light, very light. Looks like a Mega Drive model Genesis. Sorry, a Mega, a Mega Drive model unit. It's very light. There's the back here. It's like they just used the mold to copy it. It's even got the <laughs> little place where you put your uh, Sega CD, but obviously you can't do it to this one. So yeah. Wanted to show the back of the console as well. Pretty cool that you can do both AV cables and HDMI. The cool thing about this is if you hook it up to a CRT, you would be able to technically do the light gun game. So that's kind of neat. Also has a region, looks like it has a region switch. So that's cool. Let me go get a Genesis to show you kind of the comparison here. It's inside the cartridge slot. There you go. And you got a... <laughs> this is how it came. It was like stuck, 18 and 1. So it's an 18 and 1. And the sticker is like even put on crooked. So again, low expectations here. Looks like it's got Rambo 3, Pro-Am, Pac-Mania, Blockout, Tecmo World Cup, Tetris. Now that's cool. That's cool if it's got Tetris on it. It's got, it says Sonic. We'll see what that is. Tiny Tune. Okay, not terrible, not um, not great. <laughs> Gotta love that crooked. So he comes with a, a plug-in, pretty pretty cheap, and comes with AV cables, and it comes with an HDMI cable. I don't know how long that is, with a black and white instructions okay and it kind of talks about it and it's in like broken English okay 
with two extremely light six button wireless controllers with the uh, yeah that's a pretty pretty cheap feeling controller I will try them so yep and just to put in comparison modded Sega Genesis here to show the difference so there you go it looks cool so we are going to check out some games I will test the controller out to see how bad it is and I will use a six button controller to test as well among I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna test everything that I can I can throw at it all right, so this is what I'm going to be testing on it. It's kind of, I've kind of conducted some other tests on other clone systems, and this is kind of what I'm going to test on clone systems moving forward. I know there's going to be more. So I'm pretty sure it doesn't work, but I'm going to try it anyways. I'm going to try virtual racing. And with a special SVP chip, it's probably not going to work. I do have an EverDrive. It's an older one, but it's 1.0, but I'm going to try it. I did get this really cool product. And Stone Age Gamer is a great place to get stuff. Power Base Mini. And essentially you can play Master System games on your Genesis with it. It's a really cool product. And I want to test it out. And that works on the Retron 5. And I do believe the Retro Freak. Let's see if it works on this. And then I'm going to use Ghouls and Ghosts as a game to test on it. I have a reproduction cart from John Riggs. And rigs are awesome, so I'm going to try Mega Man The Wily Wars. Uh, Game Panic 2 is a homebrew that I was involved with, programmed by Jason Santusi. I'm going to try that, simple homebrew. A bigger Genesis game, I think it's 64 megs, and, uh, oh, 40 megs, sorry. 40 megs, at the time it was the largest Genesis game ever. I'm going to try that, Super Street Fighter 2. I have a multi-cart. I thought it'd be good to maybe try a multi-cart on the console. And for the oddball one, I have a Korean, I do believe a Korean Virtua Fighter 2. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but it's an import, so figured I'd try that too with the Switch. And let's see if these work. So here's the menu. Definitely uh, bare bones. And these are the games that are listed as being on this cartridge that comes with it. I've tried it in both settings on the back of the console, and it looks like it doesn't matter. One interesting thing to know on the console is when you turn the power on, it locks the cartridge. So if you <laughs> if you don't turn it off, you can't take the cartridge out. Just a just a just a heads up. And so. Let's just go ahead and try uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. And one thing you'll notice is that the screen uh, it doesn't have a 4-3 ratio, which is another thing. I don't, it's, it's annoying. Uh, that part is annoying. It does stretch the uh, image out to fill up a TV screen. I, on this particular model TV, do not have the option to switch that. So um, anyways, let's check it out. Uh, from what I'm hearing so far, the, the sound is not bad. It sounds pretty good. Um, again, I am using an Elgato HD capture card. In person, this is looking pretty good. Uh, surprisingly, surprisingly, the controller is not bad. Now, I'm not a biggest wireless controller fan, but uh, one, one thing about this is that it's functional. And so uh, the controllers are listed P1 and P1. Two for player one and two. Um, I'm probably just going to try to use a standard uh, six-button controller wire. And you know, I'm old. I don't need a wireless controller. Um, it's kind of weird playing this right after playing a lot of Sonic Mania. Interesting. All right, so Sonic looks pretty good. All right, kind of cool. It's got Tetris on it. And uh, I have a pirate card of this as well. And same thing, the first part's blocked out. And it's cool, you got a, you got a, a two-player Tetris going on. Uh, pretty simple, but yeah. It's, it's cool, it's got Tetris on it. Um, okay, uh, let's go ahead. 
Let's go ahead and do Golden Axe. That's a game that most people know. Okay, it starts right up. Okay. And one thing to notice is on some other reviews, uh, it appears that there's only mono sound. And and from some other people getting theirs, that, that's what I noticed with this one as well. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, but what I did is I, I put in an ear, a headphone and it only was coming out of one, one side. So it does appear that, that mine has mono sound like some of the other clone systems. But it looks great. So uh, other things to know. So I'm trying Golden Axe. A couple other things that I tried and it didn't work is, yes, the EverDrive does not work. I am super excited that Ghouls and Ghosts works. And I'm playing it through the Powerbase Mini, which means you can use a Sega Master System adapter on this console. One thing to note is that there is some glitches going on. I don't know what that's about. I did try another Master System game, and it didn't do that. So um, it's important to know that. That it, it, on this particular game, and this is my one of my favorite uh, Master System games. Yeah. And again, I'm using the controller it came with, and it's 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 all right. I'm not noticing any noticeable lag per se. And so, uh, yeah, just want to want to show you this. All right, pleasant surprise. Plays homebrews, pretty cool. And uh, this is just a simple game that I was involved with, programmed by Jason Santusi. Kind of want to throw back to like a a Game Boy game. If you press A, B, and C um, all together, then it will jump the game to a more difficult setting. And it, it's fun, fun little game. But it's really cool to see that Game Panic 2 works on this clone system. All right, Mega Man The Wily Wars. Fires right up. And it's really great to see that. So it works with homebrews. It works with reproductions. I got this reproduction in particular from John Riggs. And uh, yeah, great to see that. Great to see that works. So for people that are wanting an alternative, um, the downside, you know, if there's a downside, the, the multi-cart it comes with is just okay. But at least it comes with like Tetris. It comes with uh, some, some decent games, not all decent. But it's, it's, it's better than nothing. Not the best Mega Man player. But it's working. This game's hard, whatever. <laughs> the Super Street Fighter 2 is booting right up. That's really good. And I'm using the six button controller, official Sega. And it's working great. And let's just do uh, super. And of course, I'll just play Blanca like I usually do. Really cool. Really cool that uh, this works. So again, there's a couple things about this clone system that is an advantage over the at games, where you know it works with the Sega Master System adapter. And this is a game that works on it, that uh, the yeah, iGames one doesn't. Very cool. Very cool that it works. All right, I just wanted to check a, to see if a multi-cart other than the one that it came with works. And a very famous uh, multi-cart is the Genesis 6-pack. And this was released in the States and it had six classics on it. Including one of my all-time favorites, The Revenge of Shinobi. Such a classic game. And uh, very cool that it's working great. But again, you know, uh, I, I do believe that it still has mono sound. That's the, the really one downside to the sound of this. And uh, But it looks great. And so, minus just a few things. So the, the EverDrive cart, I couldn't get mine to work even though the menu booted up and I couldn't get virtual racing to work. 
So that's that's that. Those are two carts that I would have loved to see on it, but it's nice that for the majority it's playing everything else. And it can play Master System stuff, which is a huge advantage. And uh, obviously it comes with a multi-cart, so it looks like multi-carts uh, will work on this. So very cool to see um, so many different things work on this. Not perfect, but hey, uh, for, for, for being a clone Mega Drive, pretty cool. All right, Virtual Fighter 2. This is a strange kind of, I don't know if it's Korean pirate import. But I switched it over to the J on the back of the console and boots right up. So Virtual Fighter 2, which is not a great game whatsoever on the Genesis, but here it is working. So that's pretty cool. Fight one, ready, go! This is one of those ports that they should have not made, <laughs> but they did. Well, there you have it. Not bad for a clone system, not perfect. You know, again, as I mentioned before in my review, it doesn't play the EverDrive, but it does play Master System games with an adapter, very cool. It doesn't have save states, and some of the games on the multi-cart that come with it are just okay. So um, if you're looking for an alternative to the At Games flashback, this is not bad. You know, it is, you know, you have to order from China and uh, it's it takes a while to get here and you know for me ship there was a shipping issue and so uh, there you have it I just want to thank people around the world for taking time out of their day watching my videos it means the world to me I'm racing to 40,000 subs please subscribe if you haven't it helps me out so much please like my videos and comment if you can I like to do videos I'm currently doing three videos a week. We'll see how many I do when school starts. I also have a Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. You can support me there as well with exclusive videos each month. Thank you so much. My hat's off. You folks are awesome. Love you. Take care.